hello everyone. Hello. Um, we're back here with OpenRNDR. Today we're going to be taking a look at images. Yes, I'm Alessandro. I'm Abe. Okay. So what are we doing today is we are going to look at images and yeah. we are going to concentrate on over-render this time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, images are stored in color buffers. Mm -hmm. So there will be uh, a story some, somewhere down the road where we talk about color buffers, but for the moment we will keep it a bit higher level and mm -hmm. consider these as, you know, textures. Yeah. And it's, it's fine. Okay, um, good. Here we have a very minimal program. We don't mm -hmm. even need this. Uh, so basically it's a program which just loads an image. Mm -hmm. uh, so this thing here is a color buffer. You can mm -hmm. see it by leaving the mouse on top. Exactly. And then in our draw loop, yeah. we just draw it. Yes, and the method to use to draw images is self-explanatory, is image itself. Yeah. Okay, good. Can we run the... Yeah. Right. So that's how it looks like. Right. Mm, what about making it fit? The image is not the right size. Right. So we can uh, load an im load the we, we have multiple ways of uh, loading an image. Uh, we can uh, use load image as you have done now, and this will basically return the full image, but will not adapt to the screen. Or we mm -hmm. can do load image fit. Ah, right. There's the is that the okay extension? The yes. We have in build... Right, so for now, now it's a moment of how do you activate, <laughs> what are extensions right. and uh, how, do we, how do we activate them? Okay, yeah, and the extensions, we have this repository. Mm -hmm. I'll open it here in another window. Um, basically, when, yeah, when we use OpenRNDR, we are using three, indirectly, three repos. Mm -hmm. One is the template. Mm -hmm. That contains the uh, main bulk of, uh, like, of, uh, that creates the template, basically. Yeah, this yeah. is what you would use to mm -hmm. write a program. Yes. Um, but then, uh, that one will use two other repositories. Uh, we don't have to normally care about that, mm -hmm. but one is the core, which mm -hmm. is OpenRNDR, mm -hmm. and the other one is ORX. Yes, and I can guess that X is for extra. Yeah. So I, we can think of them like libraries, right? Exactly. In a certain sense. Okay. And you can see that in this repo, there's mm -hmm. lots of them. Mm -hmm. um, lots that help with a lot of, you know, high level type of uh, uh, things you want to do. So it's like, for instance, ORX triangulation uh, helps you deal with triangulation and so on and so forth. Which are the one we, want, we will use now? Um, just wanted to make a very quick mention of, mm -hmm. of this one. It's a special folder, the JVM. Mm -hmm. uh, in this folder, there's a bunch of other extensions, and mm -hmm. these only work on when you're working with Java mm -hmm. and JVM, mm -hmm. because all the others are compatible also with JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So they are, how do you call that? Multi... Uh, uh, platform, multi-architecture, multi multi-something. Yeah. Multi, <laughs> multi <-something. laughs> I don't remember the name. <laughs> but yeah, the one we're going to take a look mm -hmm. into is called Image uh, Fit. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly. this one. Exactly, yes. And how do we activate now? I mean, apart the document, you can look at the documentation. I will tell you uh, basic usage for it. Yeah. Right? Perfect. So, um, in our template, we have a file where we can configure which extensions are active. Mm -hmm. it's in the file is this build, the Gradle KTS. Exactly. And here at the top of the file, there's all the extensions mm -hmm. we could use. And we just uncomment the one right. that we want to use. And I see that by default it's already there, so right. we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything. Perfect. Otherwise, you would just delete yeah. this. But for instance, just to comment. show, probably uh, after we are going to use... A compositor is also there, so we also <laughs> don't need to uh, to do anything there. And also our XFX. Okay. Yeah. But just for fun, like, uh, let's activate one. Like, no, cle no clear is also there. They're all there. <laughs> because the, the point is that when you activate uh, or you uncomment one of these extensions, you have to do something that is rebuilding your Gradle file. Right. Um, we can just... Easing. Yeah, exactly. Let's activate easing. Which exactly. Is You'll different. see an icon on the top right. That Here. will, yes, will uh, communicate that something has to be done. And then you uh, just click on that one. Exactly. It will take a few seconds. What hopefully. it will do is probably it download if, it, if this was not already in, the, mm -hmm. in your computer. Mm -hmm. And then and it does some cradle magic <laughs> that would be the topic of some other day. But uh, for the moment, imagine that this is the way you decide yeah. that this is going to be a library you want to use yeah. for this project. 
if uh, in, in some case this icon wouldn't show up, mm -hmm. then what you can do is click here on the little is mm -hmm. it the elephant, and it will open up. And, and this recycle button here <coughs> does reload. That's the same effect. Mm -hmm. It's just for reloading the Gradle file. Exactly. We can see on the bottom right that there is some uh, advancing, like yeah, thing. somewhere here. I think there was some progress bar yes, before. Yeah, yeah. Now it's gone. Yeah. And you only need to do it once for your template. Once it's there, yeah. it's OK. OK, yeah. cool. So now, uh, well, we didn't actually activate it. It was mm -hmm. there already. But now we can use mm -hmm. the image fit. Exactly. And there's two usages we can see here. Mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, in one, you would specify the area mm -hmm. where you want to draw mm -hmm. with a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Or in the other one, you specify. Right. Right. X, Y with height. And this is uh, um, basically a drawer directive. So it's uh, a, a sister or brother of the e dot image command. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we just let's have try. to type here image yes. fit. The color buffer we have, it's yeah. image. Um, I will hit here Alt Enter. Yes. To yeah. import the All right. file. So now the rectangle that we want to use is the whole bounds of the like window. But mm -hmm. for this, we have a very nice convenience method, which is exactly drawer.bounds. Yeah. So we okay. don't have to, if, if you want to match the whole screen, then it's as easy as this. Exactly. And then I think there, oh, I deleted it. Um, I think there are some uh, options or which mm -hmm. method you want to use. Yeah, the fit method. Mm -hmm. And which methods are there available? Mm -hmm. There's contain, cover, fill, or none. Mm -mm -mm. So these are different ways in which the image will fit in the new uh, area. Let's okay. try contain and cover to see the difference. Mm -hmm. um, because it's not the next argument, I'm mm -hmm. going to name the argument. Exactly. Yeah. This is classic. Uh, um, named argument passages to functions. That, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you've seen it in Python or in another in other languages, but Kotlin supports it. So now we can see here. Is, now we, I can see already something that hap has happened, right? Yeah, it's reduced the size. Yes, and it has created the upper and lower bands. Right, that's yeah. because we use contain. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to miss any part of the image. Yes, and this this um, preserves the proportion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if we wanted to cover the whole, mm -hmm. then we could type here cover, and then we don't have the black bands. But then we are we have changed away. The, we have changed the aspect ratio, right? No, actually no. We are missing ah. we are missing part of the images. Ah, okay. Mm. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh, the, okay. There I is a uh, fill probably fill the form the, the image forms. to exactly match. Yeah. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, so cover basically my loose information. Yeah, yeah. you you That's are not it. displaying the whole image. Okay, I see. While fill now will fill the whole area, but the the aspect ratio will yeah. be changed. He, the author would be upset. Ah, okay, super. <laughs> uh, I wanted to show the with contains mm, that uh, you can actually specify where do you want those black bands. Did mm -hmm. I miss something? Contain. Or maybe I have to. Yeah. Ah, contain. Uh, contain. <laughs> um, by default, it's centered, so mm -hmm. we have these black bands at the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. But this is also controllable, so mm -hmm. we have where is it? Horizontal position and vertical position. Mm -hmm. So this will move the contained image up and down, probably instead to center it. Yeah. I, I believe that's what I believe intuition. zero is on the center. Mm -hmm. Let's see, minus one, I think, is on one of the sides. And I'll tidy up. So uh, let's see. I think this is on the top. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, in case you need, and in this case, horizontal position doesn't make sense mm -hmm. because of the aspect ratio mm -hmm. of our current image. Exactly. But if oh. our image was square, mm -hmm. then we could use horizontal. So vertical position will go from minus one to one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super. Okay. So we have seen uh, different ways in which we can, in in this, I mean, in this situation, the color buffer is the same, like the mm -hmm. image yeah. uh, variables. We have not changed it. It's mm -hmm. just the the work is leveraged by the image fit uh, image fit uh, yeah. uh, argument. Uh, sorry, method. Okay. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. and uh, we can decide different fit methods. So um, this is very useful when it's, uh, I imagine when this is the last step of what you want to visualize, mm-hmm. since you know the information in the color buffer are not altered. Well, if I want to say, uh, basically have, uh, it, it's not affecting the image itself. It's just mm-hmm. the way yeah. it is. The, uh, the image actually is on the GPU. Exactly. And then the shader will, and thanks to this fit method, you will decide exactly. how to... So in the hood, this is basically a series of shader directives yeah. and things that happen there. Yeah. Okay, so we have seen what, uh, how to load and the image. Play. And display. In the next episode, we will uh, play a bit with multiple images or effects on images. And uh, and yeah, Mm -hmm. so see you then. See you in the next one.